So, Tucker, think back to our reenactment a few minutes ago. Which of those three looked like a friend? Well, at the beginning of the story, I would have said the fan or even the teammate. But at the end of the story, I would have to say the Saints player. Why? Well, because, I mean, he might not have had a lot in common with the player who got hurt, but that didn't mean he didn't care about him. Bingo. See, when we hear the word friendship, we think of people who have our shared interests. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad thing. But the important lesson here is it doesn't matter if they like a different sports team than you, have a different haircut, different skin color, different background, or anything else. What makes a good friend is someone who shows they care for you by what they say and what they do. So you're saying if I know a guy who has all the same Xbox games I have, rides the same bus as me, and likes to watch Paw Patrol, but he calls me names, that guy isn't really a friend? Exactly. Or if someone who has all of those things in common with you, but they don't think you're cool because you won't break a rule or pick on someone or do something you know you shouldn't, that person is not a real friend. Wow. It can be kind of hard to see who your true friends are, I guess. Sometimes it can, which is why friendship is such an important skill, because if you want to have good friends, that means you start by being a good friend. You don't talk about others behind their back. You help someone even if it costs you something. And you make smart decisions and treat others right. Which I guess is why friendship is so important. It really is a skill that will help you maximize your potential. In fact, let's say that together. Friendship. Friendship. Using your words and actions. Using your words and actions. To show others you care. To show others you care. That's great. We see you all next month. That's great. We'll see you all next month.